I get to test for one of my favorite people, um, Brit of Not Bad Brit. She is really becoming like the shawl queen. Uh, I like the shapes that she's making. I like the color play she does. Um, yeah, you're going to want this. I, I mean, like, you're going to want this because this is a great stash buster and it's what I'm doing. I just went through all of my, um, minis and she's designed it with a main color and a contrast color, but we're allowed to use our contrast color as minis. And so that's what I've done. And sometimes, uh, what my minis become are like yarns that I've that are left over from projects that I've done before and I always put the remainder yardage that I have left on the label and re-hank it so it looks very similar like this is already used before but it looks very similar to like a regular mini so and this is a mini of my main color that I had left from before and then this is my main color. It's from Wildwoods Designs Me, Caitlin, when she wants um, dyed yarn. And I also made the obtuse shawl from Detroit Knots. That's what I used this yarn on. I had used, I believe, these two yarns too. And this one's Hello Stella. This one's from the Boreal box. And then this one, I believe I got, um, maybe they're both from the Boreal box. Yeah, I think either that or I think I may have got this when I went to Canada. Um, I have three, so I'm kind of fading it and I have two other Stellinas in here. You can't really tell that are from Blue Mule Fiber. This one is Judge Roy Bean and this one's Bell Star. And then I... Uh, this is a Stellina with Woolberry Fiber Co. It is Berry Sparkle Mini is what the, the colorway glamping. I, I just love this. I feel like this is what, this is where the vibe all started. This is something I got, I think, from the OML, like, um, bo like a, what am I, my brain like the fun goodies that you get for attending. So in my little bag, this is a staccato shepherd sock in the color mirth. And I feel like that matches so well with that. Um, and I already told you that one. And then I had to throw in these from Montana crochet. This is also from OMO. Uh, so my fade here is pretty freaking cute. I'm going to go ahead and like cake all these up. Uh, my bag of choice is going to be my after yarn glow bag from Nikisi of Cosmic Crochet Creations. I love this bag. It's so like, it feels good and it's a good off the shoulder and it's also loose that I can put in my um, Namaste bag, this Jimmy Beans wool bag. It'll fit in there really well, and but also I could keep it separate. So I'm gonna make it like folded, kind of like this, like a cubby, and put all my cakes in there so I can see them kind of in order. We'll see how they fit in there. I am about to go run errands with my husband and this project is a good one to take on the go. Um, I always find that shawls are really good to have as an on the go project. I'm not much of a sock maker, so next best thing is a shawl to me. Um, I am pretty caught up on most of my other projects, and so I'm ready to get started and get going on this one, which I already did. I got the sex su the suggested hook size. That's a tongue twister. 
that I didn't expect. Um, and I'm using my Harper Baby Hooks. It's 3.75 and F. Um, and it's very, this is a very used hook. I could, I've actually like bent the tip by accident here. So I have to be very cautious as I'm crocheting because it can snag on something that I haven't figured out what's on there. So this is probably a hook size that I'm gonna replace soon. I have some other fancier hooks I could use, but they're not near as ergonomical. So um, I'm ready to invest in that hook size because it's one of my favorite sizes. Anyway, so we've all been, the fur the way to gauge this one is actually starting the shawl. That's my favorite too. I love that. I don't have to like um unravel anything and we're good. But the gauge swatch we've all named baby stingrays. Look how freaking cute that is. So I've got to measure it. It's supposed to measure, well, the pattern's on my phone, so I haven't looked. Um, but you'll get the pattern and you'll see um, all the measurements and stuff. So I'm going to measure mine and see if I'm on gauge or whether I need to switch hook sizes. Uh, I am having high hopes that I get to use this side, this hook. Let's see. But now I've started a shawl and I can't stop. The pattern repeat is, mm, it's good. It's really good. I love it. So this is like what she's calling a kite shape and um, you're gonna love it too. I, good news, got Gage on the first go. Yes, you know it's gonna be good now. Okay, fair warning, this project is so easy to get carried away with. I'm telling you right now. Um, the kite, it, it legit looks like a kite and I freaking love it. She still hasn't named it, um, so I don't know. I might try to brainstorm some kite vibes with this and see what she thinks, but um, I checked in because the color schemes that I picked, my minis are just not big enough to compensate for like this, this large of a contrast right here. So when I get home, I'm probably gonna have to rethink a different color scheme. I don't wanna frog this, I love it. And I still wanna use all these colors. They still mean a lot to me. So I think I'm just gonna make a second version. I'm gonna go with this. Obviously, it isn't, isn't going to take me very long to make, and I can make two in the testing period. So, let me just have a blast, and you can see, like, what it looks like if you're going to be scrappy, or what if you what it looks like if you're going to stick to the um, striping in pattern. Okay, I just wanted to showcase how my scrappy version is going. I'm gonna start calling this one the scrappy version. I've decided I'm making two um, because I cannot take this apart. I just love it so much. But you see like this whole section here should be one contrast color. And you can see it basically comes up with a, another whole new design by changing the contrast colors within those sections. But I just work it till I run out and then go on to the next. And this is how I had faded the colors. And I didn't want them to be, I wanted them to stay together and fade in that same direction that I had decided ahead of time. 
So we're just gonna go with it. So far, I think that it's still showing lining very well, but I have quite a bit of ends to do and it's okay. It'll be cool. Oh my gosh. She is ready for the decrease section. Oh my goodness. She's pretty large and in charge right now, but um, I can only imagine how much more she will grow. I love this fade that I'm doing. It's pretty fun. I think that this uh, scrappy deal is gonna be a cool representation for you to have a little bit of fun with whatever remnants you have in your stash. So it looks like from the pattern, this is gonna start going like that way, but we'll see what actually happens. Minus blocking, she's all done. So as a refresher, we started here, moved along. And then at the end, I had to bring in all the colors. And I kind of like that rainbow effect tip. Ugh, I love her. I think Scrappy is totally cool to do. This puppy got dried really quick. I think it only took like one day to dry. How cute are these colors? They're so springy, I love it. Um, today is actually pretty freaking cold. So that goes to show that you can get cooler temps in the spring. <laughs> um, I am gonna take pictures today. So I am going to, like I have another thing I need to take pictures of and might as well get a picture in this while I'm already getting done up. I've already done my hair as you can see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and weave all the ends in. There are a lot. 94 ends to be specific. Well, that took me about two hours. <laughs> I watched a 2020 episode and I watched This Is Us episode and I watched the She Show and I've taken the dogs out in between. Um, but every end is woven in and it's satisfying that it's blocked and it's ready to go. Um, every single time I weave one in, I feel a feeling of happiness and satisfaction. And especially when I can look at it now and be like, where are the ends? They're like hidden so well. This rainbow tip brings me so much joy.
this is the second version that I've decided on. Britt loves nitpicks, so I love that I can incorporate this in. And she actually suggested this to me a long time ago, Capretta Superwash. And this is in the colorway Tansy Heather. It is a um, fingering weight, obviously. Um, here we go. You can see this side. It is 80% superwash merino wool and 10% cashmere and 10% nylon. And then this is some koi goo. And basically two of these makes one skein because this is 100 grams. But you need a little bit over one skein for the main color. So uh, this one is this colorway. They go by numbers. They don't really have color like names, but it's... 100% merino wool and I've used this before and I love it oh you guys last night I actually finally started my uh second version and you know technically that's the part that is um the gauge and we've been calling it the baby stingrays it's so cute this yarn is koi goo I do believe that I talked about it earlier, but I can't remember. Um, and I feel like this looks even more like a stingray being in this color, although it's kind of rainbow stingray. Oh my God, I love it. I have seen the others that have chosen like two colors and gone with the striping. Obviously, suggested striping uh, from Brit. And... Mm, I gotta have that. Like, this is fun, don't get me wrong. And I like to be able to show you both options of one scrappy and one the way she designs it. And I think they're both gonna be amazing. It's actually the morning, and that's actually apple juice. <laughs> um, sometimes you gotta take Monday like that. Um, I am absolutely loving this um, Knit Picks Capretta yarn that was suggested to me from Brit. It's got like 10% cashmere, and it is so worth it. Like. It feels so soft. Um, I feel like the koi goo is in there for a bit of stability. Tomorrow wants to say hi. She wants to say good morning too. The only downfall that I have with the Capretta is the donut shape. I feel like I should have caked it or balled it before. Um, this donut gets a little bit wild like this. And when the yarn starts getting tangled, it's just like a cloud. So it kind of sticks to each other and it's hard to untangle. Tamale just ate, so she's making lots of racket. She likes to soothe herself after like sucking her thumbs, <laughs> kind of um, like cleaning and grooming herself, kind of like a cat after she eats to put herself to sleep. Um, Okay, so I've gone through one donut and now I'm on to the second donut of this contrast color. I'm so glad that I've made a second version. This really um, showcases the striping that Brit has designed so well. And I have a feeling I'm really, really, really gonna love it. And then also come to find out, I messed up the first version that when the decrease happens, you have to go in, into the middle stitch and I only went to the middle stitch. So my finished shawl is actually quite a bit shorter, but it's already a very giant shawl. And 
the shape is not lost. It's like still freaking great, but you know, I need to know yardage purposes also. So here we go. I'm going to add in the second color and maybe I can finish today. We'll see how it goes. I have officially finished all the increases. Um, this is it. I love it so much. I love this coloring. It's so classy, right? But I only have this much of my contrast color. Oh my gosh. Will I have enough? Um, this is how much I have of the main color, which is a lot. So um, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so y'all, last night I decided I'm not frogging this thing. It's just too good. And, you know, if I frogged it, I'd end up having, like, more cream version, you know, because um, the contrast color uses more yarn than the main color. And, um, which I can, in my head is a little bit different than, you know, tra traditional ways. And so maybe that's why I ended up doing it that way. I don't know, maybe I'm getting twisted again here, just talking about it. And I've had coffee today. So, basically I decided I'm not frogging the thing. And I ordered more yarn. But you know, we can't pay for ship shipping in these days. So you have to spend $35 at least to get free shipping. And I had to save the $5, so I spent $35. I have a cool new spindle coming and a lint shaver to get me to the $35 stage. Um, along with one more skein of this capretta. I don't even know how you sp pronounce it, but I feel like that sounds just so good. So that's why I say it that way. But I'm telling you, you need this yarn. I don't order a lot of yarn, but this one is worth getting. It it's so luxe. Like that that 10% cashmere sets you over the edge. Like the softness is just unbelievable. And I bet it's going to be even better after a blocking. <laughs> so, I got back onto this project yesterday. I got some new toys too. And one of the, so the yarn came in. If you are an Instagram follower, you know that I posted about my mail day and I did a little reel, so that was fun. And I gave my first sneak peek of this version and I'm obsessed with it. I, I can say this a hundred times, this capretta with the um, cashmere, is to die for it feels so good and squishy but look at my new toy i love this thing and it has like a little tip protector here um so if i take pictures with it i probably will just take pictures of it without the tip protector um but it just glides so effortlessly i'm gonna get my yarn stuck in there but it's amazing now I might be an outside puller instead of an inside puller. So I have my setup here. I've got like my little yarn bowl, my little furls yarn bowl here for one of the cakes, which is like, <laughs> it's flattened out now. I'm set up, but I'm about to go run a couple errands with my husband, so this should be interesting to take with me because I don't want to take the donut off the thingamajiggy. <laughs> okay, I will be done with this in no time since I'm already on the decrease section. Oh man, this is a good one. And notes are due like soon. I think this next week. Um, so I'll have two sets of notes, but we've been updating as we've been going along. So, um, it should be easy to submit my notes.
remember how many ends that I did last time, but I may have miscounted this time, but I just counted and I think I have 76 ends to weave in. I love this version. It's so like delicate and luxe and the color is so good. Love it, 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 love it so much. Um, I've already got my glam glow on. I am already ready to take pictures. Um, it's crazy because I watched it yesterday and it was dry by the end of the night. Um, so, excuse you. So today I'm like, yes, I could get my notes in with plenty of time because Friday I'm gonna be busy, which is when this, the notes are due. So I don't wanna overwhelm myself. I'm so excited. I don't know. I have nothing special planned for the theme of this shoot. So I'll probably just go out here and be rustic with the shawl again. Um, I also don't know how, like what I'm gonna style it with. Maybe I should wear a dress. I don't know. I don't have like a heavy wardrobe now. I have reduced a lot over time and I like really don't go shopping. I just make my own clothes. So, okay. I'm gonna go get all these stitched up. I'm gonna turn on This Is Us. Pray I don't cry and um, then I'll be back to show y'all the finished object.